Hi, Dr. Latcher. Thanks for coming out. Oh, you're welcome. Hoping you can settle the disagreement that I'm having with my trainer about the horse. So, you know, we've, uh, we've got a test coming up. We've been working really hard, and his half pass is just it's really sticky. And my trainer thinks that it's a lameness thing. I'm pretty sure it's just bad behavior. Okay. She doesn't want to acknowledge that one of her horses might, might not be perfect. So okay. I'm hoping that you can help her understand that this is just a behavior problem. Okay. Well, let's take a moment and take a look at your horse and then we can discuss what we find. Okay. Okay. Well, so the good news is that you're both wrong. What, what do you mean? Yeah. Your horse has really horrific teeth and we need to do his teeth. Teeth? Yeah. We need to do a really good dental float and we need to try to fix the enormous hooks that are there on the front premolars, and then there's probably hooks on the back as well. But he had his teeth done like three months ago. I just had Bill out like, yeah, in February. And is Bill a veterinarian? No, he's a, he's a dental, he's been doing teeth for a hundred years. And how does he do teeth? Was your horse sedated? Was there a speculum? Was there a bright light? No, Bill doesn't believe in that stuff. He says that, that natural toothmanship comes from a hand float and, and understanding the horse. Okay. Well, I'm glad Bill doesn't sedate because since he's not a veterinarian, that's one, illegal, and two, very dangerous because if anything happens to your horse after Bill has sedated him, him, he doesn't have the tools to know how to deal with that, that issue. So the good news is Bill doesn't sedate. The problem is Without sedation, you can't apply a full mouth speculum and shine a bright light in the mouth. So there's no way for Bill to see everything going on in the mouth. We'll circle back to that, but I need to know what dental stuff has to do with the horse doing a half pass. Like, I'm not making the connection. Well, the, the biggest thing, especially in dressage, is that you guys are all about the softness and the connection. So I want you to do a little exercise for me. Okay. You're gonna close your mouth like you're a horse. Oh, I thought you were telling me to be quiet. <laughs> you're gonna close your mouth like you're a horse who's being ridden, how you would like them to be, right? Now you're gonna take your head and you're gonna move it up and down. Did you feel how your lower jaw moved in relation to your upper jaw? I did, slides back and forth. Yep, your horse can't do that right now. And the reason your horse can't is because he has a giant hook coming down off the front tooth and so his molar tables are locking against each other. So he's doing his best to put his head where you want it to when you're trying to do that half pass, but he literally can't do it because his teeth are, are, have been poorly done. Wow. Now I will give Bill, and this is the most common thing I find with, with lay floaters, is that the sharp points on the outside of the teeth have been taken down, but that's it. Well, I'm not gonna beat up Bill. I mean, he only charges $25, so it's a really good deal. For the amount of tooth you got taken care of, you're right. It's a really good deal. We are more expensive because we do all of the teeth. Well, I guess we need to get it done so I can do this show. We do. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Latcher. You're welcome.